folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna make something that I personally have never eaten before. If you know me, you know that when a strange idea gets buried in my head, it don't leave until I can try it out. And I, I think it was in the comments of one of my videos, Mr. Longbow Banjo was talking about that he had eaten some burger. I think he made it because he's a butcher himself with lungs in it. And he said it was fluffy, the burger was fluffy. And I've eaten some lung material from birds and from different animals, and it's, to me, it tastes a little livery. But I've also eaten a lot of stuff like that. Like in Scrapple, you could put it in there and it wouldn't taste like liver at all. So I've got lungs from the last two mangalitsas that I butchered, and I've got deer burger. As you can see, I've already cut it up. It's still frozen, by the way. It was just just soft enough I could cut it with a knife. So I'm gonna run that through the grinder with these lungs. These lungs were also in the freezer. I did not want to risk having them deteriorate or go bad in any way. And of course, lungs are full of air, so they're gonna be easy to cut, even though they are frozen. I'm about to flip this whole thing off. And so I'm just gonna make them in chunks that will go through the grinder. We're gonna get this stuff ground and we're gonna see how lung burgers are. I wanna see if what Longbow Banjo said actually holds air. So if you wanna watch a guy that's just about as crazy as I, no, crazier than I am, I'm gonna have a link to his channel in the descriptions of this video. Some of y'all think I'm the crazy one. Now, I'm gonna have about 50-50. It's gonna be about the same amount of lung as meat. Never done this before. I don't know if that's overkill, but there's only one way to find out. Fire the generator up, boys. We're ready to grind this thing. All right, Mr. Caleb is gonna run the plunger for me. We'll do deer meat, pork lung, deer meat, pork lung, deer meat, pork lung. Oh, that one barely wants to fit. Mm. Oh, I think we popped this bubble. Pork lung comes out looking the same as deer meat. Wow. Alright, that's good. Alright. Alright, here's our meat. It's ground. Very cold. It's still fairly frozen. So that's about, that's about four pounds. It's not as heavy as what it looks because, and it may be three pounds, lungs don't weigh anything. The deer meat weighs the regular muscle mass weight, but not lungs. So I'm gonna put it back in here. I'm gonna stir in four eggs right quick. Good old country farm eggs. all kinds of different ways of doing this and I'm sure a lot of you probably have a better way than I do. We're going to take some good old camp dog Cajun seasoning. If you want juicy burgers, go camp dog. Oh my goodness, is that ever good? And I'm going to take some good old pink Himalayan salt just for added flavor and put that in there. Now, I'm going to stir that up together. All right, next thing I'm going to do is dump her back in here. I know breadcrumbs would probably help out, but this here is all about the lung. I am trying to figure out how this works 
Support the lungs. All right, let's go. Wow, I can feel that egg in there. You plunge it when I get that done like that. That is very cold and frozen. I like that. Because the grinder naturally heats it up, so you don't you want to start out cold, especially in these hot summer months. All right, here's our meat. Made it up into some nice, basically meatballs that I'll just put in here and flatten. And I'm amazed at the beautiful color of this meat. It's just a rich color. So I'm going to get started putting this meat in here. I'm, I'm going to have pretty good sized patties. Yee I'm just going to go ahead and lay them around in here. I'm excited about trying this. Wow. I'm not going to get them all in the first round and that is fine. Now we're just going to take our spatula and mash them out. These aren't smash burgers, but maybe they'll taste good anyway. I'll just tell you, they smell great. Now I let this meat set 30 minutes with that salt and that camp dog to let it incorporate into that meat. And now we're getting started cooking. All right, what kind of grease are you using, McGee? I took a little bit of good natured heat from one of y'all about using coconut oil in my fish fry. And that didn't bother me. I enjoy good natured ribbing. I can handle that. I was raised with six sisters. As long as you don't get mean, or if you don't use profanity, I, I'm fine with any kind of good natured ribbing. Today we're using canola oil. And that, I, once again, I know some but well, your heads are about to explode, but listen, I don't, my, my smokehouse is empty. I ain't got no bacon. We're using canola oil. You say, McGee, you got all them pigs, just make you some lard. Maybe I will, maybe I will. Oh, oh, oh baby. You might remember when I did the, the pig heart burgers, they were pure pig heart, there was no other meat in them. I only used one or two eggs. I had problems with that burger falling apart when I flipped it. Not so here. This here is working excellent. I show you this about every time, and I guess it's because I like it. Look at that. You cannot beat cooking over fire. Just, I love it. All it costs is the chainsaw gas to cut it and a little bit of labor. All right, I like to double flip my burgers if they're big and thick like this. Keep them juices chased back and forth in that burger. Cause I like a juicy burger. I don't like a dry burger. All right, ow, that's kind of warm. All right. This is only the first round. I got 15 burgers to cook. All right, round two. Alright, it's time to flip these bad boys, at least for the first time. That is beautiful. Oh, 
Okay, while these are cooking on the second side, I want to just throw up some nutrition facts for you. I looked this up online, and this is beef lung, but of course it's going to be very similar to pork lung. Look at these nutrition facts. I cannot believe how much better lung is in some aspects than just beef, just the meat itself. The lung has a lot more nutrition. So a lot of people turn their nose up and have already turned this video off before they even realize this could be the secret to a longer, happier, healthier life. Look at that pile of blankets. got some eager taste testers out here. I'm going to quickly throw this together. The other two boys are off doing something. I don't know exactly. Probably doing chick chicken chores. I don't know. Whatever it is. Boy, oh boy. They'll be sad they missed out. It's a lot easier to cut one in fourths than it is in thirds. I may have to eat a whole half. First thing I like on my mayo is my tomato. Tomato goes like a hand in a glove. Look at the size of that big onion. Big, white, sweet onion. I'm gonna lay the meat right on that. Look how that meat covers that entire bun. That's a big bun too. We'll just lay all this right there. And that's it. We got our cheese boiga. You like cheese? All right. Now that is a beautiful burger right there. Mm. Joe, I'm gonna let you have the half. Look at that. No! Caleb or Boyga fell apart. No! Uh, my cheese. All right. Look at that man, oh man. Juice just flying out of that burger. Now you'll have to hold this with your hand good to keep it from falling apart. Grab it two hands and you can take that big bite. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> what is it? You sound like a monkey over there. So I guess the question is, is the burger fluffy? It definitely tastes good. I'm gonna pull a chunk out here. The flavor's great. I don't know that I could say it's really just fluffy like what you would think of a marshmallow but it's a perfect burger i'll say that mm. and i can tell you right now for myself and i think i'm speaking for everybody here we'll have another one at supper tonight a whole one mm. is that right So it's good. You like it? He calls them boigas. They're good boigas, ain't they? All right. We're going to get on out of here. We're going to go to the supper table and eat again, believe it or not. And if there's any left tomorrow, I'll eat some more. But the odds of having good leftovers around here is about as high as finding an honest fisherman. It ain't very high. So we're going to get on out of here. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Boy, Matt, you missed out on the boyga. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Pretty bad. Yeah, I guess so, too. I don't know if I should let you have supper for missing that. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I guess I'll let you have one. Okay. Oops. Yummy.